Hello and welcome to Learn One Soul. In this episode, I will show you our servo tester. And normally, you can use our PC software to control your servo and to test whether your servo is normal or not. But if you are using our servo tester, you don't need to use this PC software. And look at this board. There are six knobs on this board, and each board corresponds to each servo interface because there are six servo interfaces on this part. And for example, if you connect a servo to number zero interface, and that means you can control this servo by using this knob. So each knob corresponds to each servo interface. And now in order to achieve a quick operation, we have already connected six servos to this servo tester. You can see there are six servos, and this is LD20MG. It has attractive appearance because this kind of servo uses metal shell, and the rotation angle of this servo is 120 degrees. The torque of this servo is 20 kilograms when the voltage is 6. So, uh, you can see this is our number zero servo. You can use this knob to control the movement of this servo. And this is number one servo. This servo corresponds to this knob. This is number two, number three, number four, and number five servo. So now let's get started. Uh, let's begin with number zero servo. When I twist the knob, you can see the number zero servo moves very smoothly. And let's move to this number one servo. You can see clearly that the rotation angle of this servo is 120 degrees. So what about this one? Number two servo, and this is number three, number four, and number five servo. So let's take this servo, this number six servo as an example. If you press the black button just like this, you can see clearly that the servo returned to the original position, right? So now if you twist the knob, you can see the servo will not move. So you need to press this button again. And now you can control by using this knob. And now let's move to the smaller servo tester. You can see this is our smaller servo tester. When you compare these two servo testers, you can see the difference between them. And this board only has one knob, but it has two servo interface. In other words, you can control servo, two servos at the same time. And this one we call the display screen. When you connect the batteries, it can show you the voltage of your battery. And now we have already connected two servos to this board. You can see. And now we can connect batteries to this board. You have two ways to connect this battery to this board. You can say you can just plug the cable in. And now the display screen indicating the voltage of our battery. And also you can connect the battery through this port, just like this. But Please pay attention that you cannot connect your battery to these two ports together. Now we can twist this knob to see how it works, just like this. You can see clearly the rotation angle of this servo is 120 degrees, and it moves very smoothly so that the servo is normal. And now if we press this button, you can see two servos return to the original position and we call it middle position. When you press this button, you can see the light is on in this position. But if you press this button again, and now the light transfer to this position so that you can move this servo by twist this knob. So this is the end of today's program. Please join us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube pages. See you then.